my name is Kirk Walters, and uh, I have the privilege of pastoring at Mount Perrin North in Marietta, Georgia. But I grew up in Mississippi. Uh, my dad is a pastor in Mississippi, and for all of my life, I went to youth camps uh, in Mississippi. Such a pivotal part of my growing up because I made lifelong friends, but also those were the moments during those summer camps where I was just drawn into a deeper relationship with the Lord. Not only were the services um, meaningful, and not only were the friendships impactful, there were people that God placed in my life over those years that began to speak into my life in a mentoring way, uh, that took an active interest in me and began to speak life and promise and, and just um, uh, hope into my life during those times. I still remember when I was 16, I remember receiving the call to ministry after one of the services there in uh, Mississippi. Now, I ran from that calling for a little while, but I was never able to get away from the calling that God placed on my life. And it changed me. It changed everything about my life. One of the reasons I am so passionate about camp, and youth camp in particular, especially in my home state of Mississippi, is because of the impact it's made on my life, but also the potential that I see in the lives of students, both now and in the future. I believe with everything that is in me that sometime in my lifetime that the Lord is going to come. And I believe that the greatest outpouring of His Spirit is still to come. I believe that revival is going to take place, and I'm thankful that I get to be a part of it. But it's not just my generation, and it's not just the generation that is in camp now. It's the generations that are coming through over these next few years. I believe that God uses these these moments, these times where we gather together in the summer and sometimes in the winter, and we are able to just focus in on what God wants to do in students' lives. They are filled so much with so much anxiety and the world telling them that, that what, what they cannot do and who they cannot be. I want a place where God is able to speak into their lives and tell them who they are in Jesus Christ and that God has a plan and a future and a hope for them. Hey everybody, this is Pastor Lott. I pastor All Seasons Worship Center here in Forest, Mississippi. Uh, me and my lovely wife, Elise, we've been here for now 26 years and we've got to watch God do some wonderful things here for us and, and in our growing and through the years of building several different buildings of gyms and other things. And at the time, we really didn't realize what all it was for. We, we knew we enjoyed it, but knew there had to be a greater purpose. About six years ago, our state had to go through a transition of letting go of the campgrounds there on Terry Road that it had. Uh, it was necessity, it, it, it was aging. It was time to move on past that and, and move into something new. From that, we were able to get better parsonages, uh, a great office facility. But the one thing we lost that over the last five years that, that we just haven't quite found the fit was a campground for our kids. And the last three years, God really just started dealing with me. My daughter still goes to camp, she's 16. My other two boys have aged out, but she still goes. And, and in that, God began to talk to me and say, hey, it's time for you to do something about that. It's time for you and your church. And I'm thankful that All Seasons has decided to be a part and, and want to do this. And so we started praying and God began to open doors. Just a facility, a house next door that, that has an indoor pool. They came to us and said, hey, we want you to have this place and we're gonna reduce where you can get it. We prayed about land because we, at the time, we needed more to be able to accomplish this. And we talked to some people and at first they were like, no. And then God just kind of began to deal with it. They prayed about it came back to us and, and said, hey, we want you to have this land. And, and we were able to secure that. Just one thing after another has brought us to this place. As you can see the dirt work behind us and, and we're in full just go as far as putting buildings up and doing this. We want to create Camp Cypress for be a place for our young people to come every single year and not only make friends, not only create great memories, but to have an experience with the Lord that transforms their life. Here we have approximately 30 acres where we will build two buildings that will hold 16 dorm rooms. There, there were, it will also hold 200 people. So Camp Cypress would be a place for anyone to come and stay. Um, we will have a volleyball court. 
we'll have a lake where we'll have canoes. Uh, there'll also be an indoor pool and a ball field. So there's lots to do and we look forward to having all the kids from the state to come and be with us. It'll take all of us to do this, but I just want to show you just a little bit of what we're talking about when we say Camp Cypress. There's a video that I'd like for you to see and it kind of shows a little bit more in detail the picture or the image of what we want to do. All Seasons Worship Center has strived for many years with a mission of reaching, teaching, training, and releasing people to fulfill their call in the body of Christ. The next step God has positioned us for is the development of our land and facilities in creating Camp Cyprus. This camp will allow our community and state to have a permanent youth camp facility where nearly 600 young people a year can come build relationships, worship, and enjoy the many activities that will be provided. The expansion includes a new ball field area, cabins for youth camps and other retreats, special counselor's quarters, a newly developed four-acre lake, an enclosed swimming area, and, if God allows us, a water park feature for our youth to enjoy. Now, let's take a closer look at what God has in store for us at Camp Cypress. The new ball field area will have multi-use functionality to accommodate our church family, camps, and state events. This area will provide a unique experience for practicing good sportsmanship, as well as providing fellowship activities for our church and state. Located near the ball fields, campers will find a special addition for sporting events, the double volleyball courts. These courts will be expansive, with plenty of room for tournaments or simple games. Nestled among the trees, our new cabins will be a relaxing retreat for campers to enjoy. There will be two cabins, each having eight rooms, which will accommodate 14 campers per room. These rooms provide spacious design and all the necessities needed for a comfortable week's stay. As we continue further, the new water park area is sure to be a hit with our young ones. With an open design and large water slide, Camp Cypress Water Park area will be a fun and exciting time had by all. In addition to this, we will also have an indoor pool area located just steps away. Camp Cypress, located at all seasons, will have several attractions for campers' families. With our new four-acre lake development, it will have breathtaking views of scenic trails, as well as activities such as kayaking expeditions, fishing, camping, and many other wonderful adventures a lake has to offer. We are excited about these next steps, and we know as we develop this campus with excellence and a heart for Christ, we are creating more and more opportunities to reach people, touch hearts, and change lives. Together, we can build and leave a legacy. This project that we're talking about, Camp Cypress, where we have the privilege as the Mississippi Church of God Department also to be able to join with All Seasons Worship Center is going to be phenomenal. I think this is just going to be a powerful time that we're able to enlarge the territory. We're allowing ourselves just to branch out literally in the cypress trees but I believe this project is going to be so powerful. I believe it's going to be life-changing, not just for those in this particular region, but I, I'm praying that what is learned uh, during the camping season at Cyprus, that we'll be able to branch this, and this will be a worldwide endeavor that as it continues to grow, it's, it's not just something that grows here in Mississippi, but it begins to grow beyond. And I think that's the joy of knowing that, uh, that Jesus Christ is not just here in Mississippi, we know that he is, but to know that, that his word calls us to go out, to go out beyond where we are. And, uh, and we're thankful to be able to partner with this endeavor. Hey guys, this is Trent Lott and Karen Massey Lott. Uh, we are just been asked to share a little bit about camp and what it's meant to us over the years. Um, I grew up a pastor son, um, Reverend DeWitt Lott, uh, Jane Lott, a lot of you may know them. I've uh, been to a lot of camps and youth camps, and uh, I can't say anything more about camp, uh, about how it affected my life, because that's where I got saved uh, between my eighth and ninth grade year. I uh, had a, a camp leader. My, my cabin was 
Uh, we called him Richie Rich. Uh, I don't even know if he's still around, but he probably is somewhere. Uh, but that that affected me, not, not in this life, but in the life to come. So uh, I hold a very high esteem for camp and what it means to me. Uh, it's, a, it's a great time, you have fun, uh, but it's also a spiritual retreat uh, for young kids that may, like myself, uh, come to know the Lord. And that's the most important thing we can do uh, in, in the walk. Absolutely, and I think it definitely is a personal relationship, Trent. You didn't even get saved in a service. It was when you went back to your cabin, cabin. right yeah. after. Yeah, we had a Bible study after after service. Yeah. So to me, one of the biggest impacts, I started going to camp, I think it was the summer of my fifth grade year, and really started that because um, one of my pastor's children became one of my best friends, and they were big into camp and uh, just encouraged us to start attending. One of the biggest takeaways from camp started with that, and it was building relationships. And those relationships that I established starting the summer of my fifth grade year, I went to camp pretty much every summer, I think until probably my 11th grade. I think I went my 11th grade summer. Um, so I mean, for years, uh, relationships were established even when pastors moved on and began to pastor other churches. I was still, because of camp, able to continue relationships, which now even help with accountability. But you know, I also think another super important thing for me, I vividly remember attending the camps and you're just so um, surrounded by everything, you know, the worship services, your counselors who are trying to pour into you and other kids who may not know how to walk the walk yet, but they're there because church you know, has encouraged them to come. They're there maybe because of the church that they were attending. So it's all, it's a like-mindedness that's there. And so I remember when I would leave camp after I had just been surrounded and, and saturated with everything of God, leaving camp thinking, oh gosh, I'm back in the real world now. I think Trent and I would both say, you know, it's definitely an opportunity to make an investment that has eternal gains. And those are treasures that moth nor rust, you know, can touch. So I think it's worth any investment that you can make. It's an investment for the kingdom. Well, guys, that's the, the vision as you've seen. And I guess the only thing left is to answer the question that a lot of the other people have answered on the videos. What has camp meant to you? What does it mean to you? Well. My story is, is kind of long, but I believe it's why God gave me such a burden for it. I started with camp nearly 45 years ago. When I was just five or six years old, my mom and dad were counselors, and I was too young to attend, so I would just stay with my dad in the cabin while he was counseling other boys. As I started going to camp and through the years, it was such an important part as I met some of my best friends and, and was best men in their weddings and just, just incredible relationships that's lasted even to today. Different pastors throughout the state, we still laugh about going to camp together and, and different people I meet at different churches of just growing up and all the fun times we had. But when I was 18 years old, it was one of the most dramatic times because I had left home and went to Birmingham, Alabama where I was determined I was gonna find my life and find happiness and I done got into school and, and everything was going just the way I hoped it would. About that time, my mom called and she said, Tim, uh, summer camp's coming up and I'd love for you to go. I, that was the last thing I wanted to hear. Me and God were not on real good talking terms at that time, I was too busy trying to find life. My mom used a lot of guilt trips and she said she done paid the tuition. It was my last year. And so I told her I would go. By the second, third night of camp, when I was 18 years old, I finally surrendered. It took being in his presence in a place like camp where he could uh, talk to me and I couldn't get away for me to finally surrender. 
I finally accepted the call. And uh, in fact, this is a picture of me and my sister. Every year at camp, you had a banquet. And this was the last night of that camp. I was almost 19 years old then. And I went back to Birmingham, Alabama, packed up my stuff, came back to Mississippi. And I've been a minister for going on nearly 35 years. It has been the greatest decision. But I'm not sure how it would have worked if there hadn't been a camp. I believe some of the greatest singers, some of the greatest pastors, teachers, moms, dads are out there. They may be 12 right now, they may be 11, they may be in your church, but they need a place. And 50 years ago, somebody, a group of people got together and built a camp for us. For a lot of us that I'm talking to, and our kids and our grandkids, we grew up in that camp. And now it's time for us to step out with our faith for our future to create our legacy. It's our moment. And I need your help to make that happen. Together, we can do it. I tell people all the time, God does a specific thing. He's the creator. He creates. God created the land. God created the trees. God created everything. And then he looks at us and he says, now you produce. You take the trees and turn it into cabins. You take the land and turn it into something useful. You take what I've given you financially through the years, I've blessed you, and turn it into a, a legacy. Together, we can do this.